Look at Jack being me forever. That nice new umbrella you got with all that shade there, crazy. Thank you. Ooh, damn. <laughs> we are ready on alpha side. I've got the mid. Ready, press. Ready, shoot. Kill. Kill. Front of the plane. Ready. Press. Press. Kill. Kill. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> no way, I just got that kill. Welcome back guys, Shyrock here, going to bring you another tip of the spear build video for the Division 2. Again, this is my Berserk variance. Today we're going to concentrate on the my Weasel Room variant. And I run a Revive Hive. The only reason I run a Revive Hive is the off chance that we do not get Weasel down right away and we end up going into a painful gas phase. I will pull this out and try and revive my snipers and or myself. It all depends. So I could, as you can see, I got low health. I got no health mods on here. So anyway. We'll go jump into the pieces. These are the same three guns that we use for Boomer. The Eagle Bear, 26.1k. Not bad. The Paratrooper, SVD. With overlapped. That's what we want. We want that weapon handling if we can. Whoop. As you can see, the shotgun here. We're using this for protected reload. While equipped, this weapon grants 10% bonus armor while reloading. Mask. This is the same as my Boomer shot build, except we are running this utility mod that comes with the Hive and Chem Launcher. Pretty nice rolls right there. And again, I only need to break that 3000 skill power threshold, but with the combination of mods that I have, that's the way I got it done. Here's the chest piece again. Same as the Boomer build, we're running that 1.5 weapon damage, 1% damage armor, and 4.5% weapon handling. As you can see, it's got the 15% weapon damage, 310 skill power, 9.5% headshot damage. You have been invited to a raid group. Thank you. I will have to decline at this point. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's keep going. In this holster... Again, uh, we're using the same pulse skill power. We got the knee pads. We're running hive skill power and again chem launcher just to get that hive up and our overall skill power up. We need uh, we need that 3,000. Gloves. Same as before, with the 5% assault rifle, 0.5 weapon damage, 13% modified and rolled onto the attribute. It's pretty good. And then the backpack. Here, again, we're using that 5.5 reload speed, 4.5 weapon handling, 1% damage to armor, and all that good stuff right there. Capacitive. My hive looks like this. I've got a stem efficiency. We got some skill haste and some charges. I use the extra charges so that if I am picking up a couple people at a time, which sometimes happens, they're all getting up. And sometimes there's some charges left over, which is nice. Run on the pulse still. Again, 11 seconds, 15 second cooldown, or duration, I should say, and 11 second cooldown. It's pretty good. I like it. Um, in this room, I use the fire grenade. As soon as they jump down, they'll jump down into my pool of fire, which will help the snipers. It's kind of important. So that's it. That's the boomer, or sorry, the weasel build. <laughs> I 
let me figure my words out properly here guys thank you for checking out this video thanks for subscribing hitting that like button i really appreciate it it will help me out greatly and until the next time it's your boy shy rock peace <laughs>rocking aces and being able to tank two of those boxes. <laughs> From ready, press. Kill. Kill. Oh my god, I mean, where else this is you can't do any damage to me, bitch.